Hi, Mark Gordon on Thursday, November 17th, 2011 with a gold silver spider report. This is the GLD, this is gold down over two and a half percent today. Ugly day for gold on a pickup in volume and on heavy volume. This is a sign that big money uh, was uh, getting spooked out of gold. Uh, not a good sign here. We did break out of this uptrend that we were in and are now in a short term downtrend. Uh, on a positive note, uh, we did close right on this blue solid line, which is the 50-day moving average, a sign of support. And right below that is more support here at the 100-day moving average, this green dotted line. So, uh, so far getting some support here uh, that may support this downtrend that is in place now. Uh, your next uh, reaction upwards would take us up here to about the 171 level. Uh, if we break out of that, we go back into a bit of an uptrend here. So let's see what happens with the GLD. Now this is a weekly chart of the GLD. Uh, we're down about 4% for the week. This is a more important chart for me. Um, uh, trading on a daily chart can be a little uh, volatile, a little bit of whipsaw-y. I like to trade, uh, once I get into a position, I like to look at, at and focus on the weekly chart here. And you can see this convergence of the 10-week and the 20-week, this blue line and the green dotted line. This is support here, and you notice that on a weekly basis we did hold that. Uh, and we are still in an uptrend uh, on a weekly basis. We did come up here to the upper trend line and are pulling back. Now, a typical reaction uh, could take us down back into the $161 level or this lower trend line. Uh, or we could hold in here and, and waffle sideways and move back up. We just don't know. But uh, if we pulled back here down to this lower trend line, the uptrend would still be in place. So something to look at here. And looking at silver now, down 6.6% today on a pickup in volume, heavy volume, uh, losing the 21-day moving average below the 50-day moving average, and uh, breaking this lower trend line that was in place. Um, uh, if we take out this low here at 29.14 on the SLV, uh, we will go back into a longer-term downtrend. Um, right now we are in a short-term downtrend. We never really decisively got through this 50-day moving average. We did butt up against it. Uh, the market did not have enough strength to get up above it. So here we are with a big uh, collapse in silver prices here, uh, possibly going uh, down to retest the 2741 price here in late September. We'll have to see. Uh, we are here uh, right on this Bollinger Band, this gray area. Uh, this is mathematically designed to keep prices within these bands, these gray bands here, 95% of the time. So it's not surprising that we uh, closed right on that. Um, typically, um, uh, the markets will try to stay within these bands. So uh, this uh, does become support at this uh, juncture here. And uh, going now to a weekly chart of the SLV, we're down over 9% this week. Uh, you can see that we were fighting to uh, get up above the 10-week moving average, this blue line. We did last week. We closed up above it, and then today it is a downward uh, uh, week so far, um, uh, slicing back through the 10-week moving average, not a good sign, and below the 4-week moving average, this red uh, uh, line here. Uh, the next stop of support will be this previous little break low here at 29.14, and below that at 27.41. Uh, the uh, lower Bollinger Band, this gray area, it's kind of faint here, but this lower Bollinger Band is at 27.16. So we got double support down in the um, <coughs> lower uh, $27 range. Uh, but um, uh, you know, silver uh, in trouble here. Uh, 10 week av moving average pointed down. Um, let's hope we get some support here. Moving on to stocks now, uh, down 1.6% today. Now we had this triangle formation forming here that, that I uh, took note of here. I said we're going to resolve ourselves one way or the other here, and we have resolved ourselves today. Unfortunately, to the downside for everybody that was hoping we were going to be long here. This was a distribution day, second day in a row of distribution. Anytime you have a pickup in volume on a down day, that's distribution. This is, this is selling hitting the market from the big guys here, above average volume taking out the 100-day moving average, this green dotted line, still above the 50-day moving average, this uh, 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 blue line. Uh, so um, <clears throat> having broken out of this, uh, this sort of flag pattern, not a good sign here. Let's hope we find some support here. Uh, so if you're a short-term trader, you do not want to be long in this market. 
Moving on to a weekly chart of the S&P 500, we can see that we are caught uh, uh, in a downtrend here uh, when you look at the big picture. If you really look back here, uh, going into 2010, you can see this rounding top we have here. And we still have not been able to get over this overhead resistance up in here. Um, we are caught in between the 20-week uh, moving average and the 40-week moving average here, kind of waffling back and forth. A lot of volatility in here, as you all know. We are, however, getting support here at this blue line. This is the 10-week moving average. And we bounced that off that to this week. And uh, so, so far, so good with some support here, kind of waffling back after this big move up. So um, uh, kind of in a neutral position on the S&P 500 right now, waiting to see how this resolves itself. So I hope these charts have helped you all gain some perspective on the markets and uh, help you get through this uh, very volatile trading time. So good luck, everybody.